And then what was the situation that you had where uh, they had found some guns in your car? They weren't in your name? Nah, the car wasn't in my name, you feel me? I think you're talking about like when I went to prison and shit. Like when I was talking yeah. about my son and shit. Nah, it was like, it was a shootout, you feel what I'm saying? Like somebody, some shootout happened, you get what I'm saying? And somebody like shot, shot at my car, you feel me? I had like a hole through my back window and in the ceiling, you know what I'm saying? Like, so a bullet went through, boop, boop. And, you know, I don't know, they found the car. I had some rims on the car, but they found the car somewhere and it had like hella shell casings inside the car. So, that goes like that. So when they found the car, the car was parked. This was the next day. The car was parked in front of somebody's house. You know what I'm saying? Somebody I know, the car was parked in front of their cousin's house. Like one of my best friends is his cousin, you feel me? But he steal cars for a living. But the car parked in front of his house. I'm talking about right in front of his mom's house. You feel me? Make a long story short, he, uh, he steal the rims off the car in front of his mama's house. You get what I'm saying? So, make a long story short, somebody tapped in with him like, bruh, you feel me? You know that's what whoop, whoop car. You know what I'm saying? You need to go put them rims back on. You feel what I'm saying? Like, people seeing you, you know what I'm saying? Taking the rims off the car. So, make a long story short, like, I wasn't a suspect in the shooting. Like, nothing. But when he took the rims off the car, the neighbors called like, it's an abandoned car over here. You get what I'm saying? They, they didn't know it was shot or nothing like that. Make a long story short, when he going back to put the rims on, it's like right in front of his mom's house, like not down the street, it's right here in front of his mom. He went outside and stole the rims off the car in front of his mom's house. So he go back to put the rims on the car, and then he call, it's like, oh, bro, the police, you feel me, outside taking pictures of it, you know what I'm saying? They got hella shell casings in the bag, whatever, with one wham, but they didn't find no gun. So later on that day, Later on that day, I go to my baby mama house. I ain't fucking with my baby mom. I'm just, I'm finna go out of town. Like, you feel me? I'm finna get up out of here. And somebody dropped me off over there. You get what I'm saying? It's like, so I, I'm getting a tattoo. So when I go over there, it's like me and a couple of my little homies. You feel what I'm saying? Probably like four of us. My son and, you know what I'm saying, my baby mama, whatever, with the one wham. Make a long story short, I'm over there for probably like three hours. And then I just keep hearing a helicopter outside. But mind you, nobody don't know I'm here but the person who dropped me off over here. It's one of my, you know what I'm saying, ex-partners, you know what I mean? So then I just hear like, hurf, hurf, but the but the door, the door um closed, you know what I'm saying? The door is closed. So I hear like a dog barking. I'm like, man, who did? But we we always be joking and shit. So I'm like, man, why the fuck niggas barking in here? Trying to sign up the police. And I'm like, get down, everybody get down. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then I'm like, man, that's not like the police. But I'm in the back room. Then I hear like, ah, like Oliver, who do whoop? They call him by my name and shit, right? I'm like, oh shit. So make a long story short, whatever was in there, you feel me? We start hiding it in the room and shit. We can't get out the room, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause they're in the house. So I tell my son, you feel me, like get in the closet. He only like four years old, you know what I mean? And make a long story short, when they come up in there, uh, when they come up in there, you feel me, the guns that was in the car, I mean the guns that was, um, the bullets, the shell casings that was in the car, that's supposed to be my car, was the same guns they found in the room with me. You know what I'm saying? Two guns, you know what I'm saying? So. And one of them was a assault weapon too, like a assault rifle. So basically they, they tried they charged me for a, a shootout, like it was a shooting, but they couldn't you charge me for something, but like who got shot? You don't know who got shot, you don't know what happened, you get what I'm saying? And you know, just a whole bunch of motherfuckers was talking, you get what I'm saying, that little type of shit, you know what I mean? Like just you know, but yeah, so I ended up doing like a few years off of that shit, but yeah, my son did, like he said, like, you know, he a kid, he don't know no better, he four years old. And they like, who guns are these? I'm like, oh, my daddy guns, who do a whoop? My dad, who put these here? My daddy put them there. I'm like, man, dude. You know, so he four years old though, you know what I'm saying? I should have beat that shit though, because they really didn't have no evidence on me though, but the guns, the gun, and that's not my house, you feel me? So I don't know who was driving the car. I don't know who put the guns in there. I don't know, you feel me? Do you see me? No, but. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't have no evidence, but they was gonna take my son to CPS. They just kept on threatening me. 
it was like take this deal, you know what I'm saying, for like five years or something, you'll do half of that or whatever. And I was just like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna let them take my little nigga though. So I, I took that. Now, did you go to court or anything about this? Did they ever try to bring your son into court? Yeah, they brought him to court, you know what I'm saying? Like, they brought him into court and uh, at my preliminary hearing, it was gonna let me out because they didn't have, they really couldn't charge me. Like, it's like you run up in somebody's house and you find a gun up in there. You can't really say this is his gun because he's not, he don't live here. And he don't have nothing here. I didn't have nothing there. So they're trying to put my son on the stand. And basically he like, they like, who guns them? Like, um, like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's probably like a couple weeks later. It's like, I don't know who's guns there. And it was like, who told you to say that? And then he looked at my mom and said, my granny? I just like, man, this shit crazy, bro. It was like, so your granny told you to say that? And then he looked and was like, nope, nope. But he a kid, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? So they took a recess. And I just told my uh, lawyer, I'm like, look, bro, you feel me? I take whatever time, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Just don't take my son, you feel me? Like, I ain't tripping, you feel me? Like, I take it. He ain't do shit. Like, I'll take it right now, you feel me? So I'm like, get it to six years, seven years, I'll take it, you feel me? And then they just gave me like five, five years and a couple months, I think. Three years, eight months, I don't remember. But I did like then there two years off that shit. But I ended up going to like, I went to prison, then I went to fire camp, because I was a first, uh, I was a first offender. So they let me, uh, in my case, they, basically like a gun case ain't violent. You know what I'm saying? Like a gun case ain't violent unless you shoot somebody and they got the person you shot or some shit like that. You get what I'm saying? But they didn't have none of that. So I ended up going to fire camp and they let me out. You feel me? Early. So. Man, I can't believe they put a four-year-old on the stand, man. That's dirty. <sighs> Facts. That's how bad they wanted me.